Nutrient management is very important for agriculture and the environment. And there's also a great challenge facing agriculture because if we don't apply enough fertilizers, the crop yield will be reduced and farmers will lose money. But if we apply too much, then we will have significant amount of nutrients lost to the environment. Nutrient management and water management really are not one size fits all solutions for any farm, especially when you're talking about the diversity that we have across the state of Minnesota. I really think nutrient management is a way to dial in you know, what we're putting in, our inputs into the land, but then also watching our outputs in the form of what's coming off the field in water. A key area of my research is looking at nutrient losses in subsurface tile drainage and also in surface runoff. The overall end goals of this project are we want to make sure that the nutrient management strategies that we're recommending to farmers really are the best and the most efficient in terms of reducing their loss to drain and that will help make everything more profitable. The second part of it is to make sure that we're implementing the right practices either in the field or at the edge of field to ensure that our lakes and streams stay clean and healthy. I see Lindsay's work becoming a huge player when she's able to take her facts and findings and share that with the public being the producers, those that are targeted. Partnerships are integral in the agricultural world that we work work in, going in as a united front when trying to make a difference, to have more people on your team to help make those initiatives work is very important. The overall goal of my research program is to develop practical, reliable, and profitable precision nutrient management systems and technologies that will help farmers to optimize their yield, their nutrient use efficiency, their profitability while protecting the environment. So historically, the vast majority of producers in a corn production setting, they're placing down the vast majority of their nitrogen either right before planting in the spring or even in the fall. And so typically in these situations, it's easy to overapply nitrogen because you don't know what kind of growing season is going to unfold. And so what sets out and makes the collaboration with the university unique is we're developing strategies where we can apply less nitrogen down up front and then monitor that crop with aerial imaging and analytics during the growing season. We have developed a new satellite remote sensing and calibration strip-based precision nitrogen management strategy. This is very practical and also reliable. We use field-specific, year-specific, and hybrid-specific calibration information to make the in-season nitrogen application decisions. So it's most reliable. And we are using Kaleidoscope satellite remote sensing images to monitor crop growth conditions during the growing season. This is more practical than current crop sensor-based or UAV remote sensing-based systems because farmers don't need to buy any new sensors as long as they have access to variable applicators. This is exciting because some of the initial findings show we might be able to make some economic wins for the grower and spending less on inputs, but also we could have an environmental win, right? Where we're growing as much or more for crop production using fewer inputs and you know less exposure to the environment.